All right, so what we're going to do today, or you're going to do today, is called factoring quadratic expressions. And they are quadratic expressions because they deal with x raised to the second power. And when x is raised to the second power, it's considered a quadratic. So the directions that you're going to have for your assignment today are going to say factor each expression. And you'll be given something like x squared plus 9x plus 20. Now, when you're factoring these expressions, the first thing you want to do is list the factors of 20. All right? And the factors of 20... I go over here, factors of 20. Factors of 20, you start with a 1, and 1 times 20 is 20, right? And then you got 2 times 10 is 20. And 3 doesn't go evenly, but 4 does, and 4 times 5 is 20. So those are all the factors of 20. Now, when you're factoring these quadratics, what you're looking for is two numbers that multiply to the 20, but they combine, they add to the 9. All right? So with a 1 and a 20, you can get a 19 or you can get a 21, depending on the signs. With a 2 and a 10, you can get an 8 or a 12. And with a 4 and a 5, if you subtract them, you can get a 1, and if you add them, you can get a 9. So there's the 9 that you're looking for. So those are the factors that you're looking for. So now, here's how this works. Double parentheses. We go x here and x here. And now, since this 9 is positive and this 20 is positive, both of your factors need to be positive. So we're going x plus 4 times x plus 5. And that is how you factor a trinomial when this leading term is a 1. And you can check this. And you would check this by doing, the, by doing FOIL or by doing the double distributive property. So if you took x times x, you would get x squared. And then x times 5 would be positive 5x. 4 times x would be positive 4x. And 4 times 5 would be positive 20. And then if you combine your like terms here in the middle, you get x squared plus 9x plus 20. And if it matches this, then your factors are correct. The key is... Two numbers... that multiply to this, which is whatever's here. And then right here, same two numbers, that add to this. <laughs> they got to add to the middle and they got to multiply to the end. <laughs> so if we take x squared plus 14x Minus 72. <clears throat> the 
factors of 72. That's a one and a 72. Two and 36. Does three go into 72? I think so. 72 divided by three. Yep. Three and 24. 72 divided by four. Four and 18. There we go. Now, sometimes in your head, you're looking as you're listing these factors, you're saying, all right, with a one and a 72, what can I get in the middle? Well, I can get a 71 or a 73. You guys understand how I'm getting those numbers, adding them or subtracting them? With a two and a 36, what can you get? 34 and 38. With a three and a 24, you can get what? 21 and a 27. And with the four and the 18, you can get your 14 or your 22. Well, there's your 14 that you need. Okay. So here we go. But we've got a negative 72 to deal with. So we got X and X. Now you've got two factors here. You got a four and you got an 18. One of them has to be negative, doesn't it? Because if they multiply, they got to multiply to a negative 72. So if they have to multiply to a negative 72 and one of them has to be negative, but this middle term is positive, then the larger factor needs to be positive. So we go plus 18 and minus four. Because the positive 18 plus negative four is positive 14. And positive 18 times negative four is the negative 72. You guys all right with that? Good, good. Let's look at this. You got a couple like this today. You got a negative, negative x squared plus 13x minus 12. All right, when this first term is negative, the first thing you do is you take out a negative one. All right, so you take out a negative one and you've got x squared minus 13x plus 12 inside your parentheses. Now, what's inside your parentheses is what you're going to factor. So you're looking for the factors of 12. And when you go 1 and 12, you can stop because with a 1 and a 12, you can get a 13. So negative 1 times. We've got x and x. Now, this 1 and 12, they need to multiply to a positive, but they need to add to a negative. When that's the case, they're both going to be negative. So it's x minus 1 times x minus 12. Key point here is when you see this negative, you got to factor out a negative 1, and then you can treat the problem like every other problem. When you, when you factor out that negative one, though, don't forget to change the sign of everything inside the parentheses. All right, so x squared plus 14x plus 40. Factors of 40, we got 1 and 40, 2 and 20. Three doesn't go, four and 10. You can probably stop there. You got five and eight, and that's it anyway. But with this four and with this 10 and everything being positive, four plus 10 is 14, four times 10 is 40. So here's your factors. Try x squared minus 11x plus 30. 
some of you that are real good with multiplication already, you won't have to list the factors. Okay. You will look at the 30. You'll know the factors of 30 in your head and you'll be able to adjust the signs so that they combine to negative 11 because you got one and 30, you got two and 15, three and 10, and then you got five and six. There you go. The five and six give you the 11. All right, but you got to multiply to a positive 30 and add to a negative 11. So they both got to be negative. X minus five times X minus six. Y'all get the idea? Not overly difficult. Very good, very good. Let's try one more with this negative x squared plus a 14x plus a 32. When that negative's out front, we're factoring out a negative 1. So negative 1 times x squared minus 14x minus 32. We got 1 and 32, 2 and 16. I'm liking 2 and 16. 3, you got 4 and 8. That ain't going to work. So here we go. Negative 1 times. All right. So the end term is negative and the middle term is negative. So this bigger factor has got to be negative. So we're going x minus 16 and then the x plus the 2. Negative 16 plus 2 is negative 14. And negative 16 times 2 is negative 32. Got it? Questions? E-learners, you need to give me a couple minutes to upload this um, page to focus. Uh, you guys that are in class, you need to, what I'm going to do in class is I will put a picture of the practice problems on the wall and I'll freeze the screen and you can either take a picture of it and use your phone or you can look at the wall. Got it? Questions? All right, let me try to, you uh, e-learners are excused. Check under the resources tab in about five minutes and I will have the textbook page uploaded by then. So you guys are done for today. We'll, we'll meet again tomorrow.